The challenge will be to create equivalent practice. It started in high school when I realized that I had amazing teachers and I wanted to carry on that legacy with my own students. Zero to the whole. Okay. Yeah, you should be behind. Just learning is an important part of my life and I want kids to be lifelong learners. He has three six who has seven twelve. I've known her for about five years now. I had her as an eighth grade teacher and she has always been super passionate about what she teaches. So that's one thing I love about her and she will always like help you like individually if you need it also. Her spirit, like if you're just like coming to class very down, she's like always there, energetic, you know, making jokes and stuff like that. So like her personality, honestly. My teaching philosophy is I believe every student can learn and understand math. No matter what level of math it is, if you have the right instruction, the right activities, everyone is capable of being successful in math. Who has five, six? I believe in hands-on activities. I don't believe in students just sitting there and getting the information. I want them involved in the learning. I want them to see it. If we have to go on Google and say, okay, let's look up some data so we can apply it to our class, I want them to say, okay, we can use this in the real world. So that's how I keep my math classes exciting and interesting at the same time. It better not be me. She'll try to like, make you understand it with like what you know basically. And one thing she always told me was use your resources. She's just super organized person. Like if she needs something, she'll let you know and everything. She loves all of her students. Like she treats all of them like the same. Like honestly, I just love her. <laughs> I definitely want all of the students in Beaufort County to have opportunities, whether it's to go off to the military, to go to college, or go straight into the workforce. I want everyone to have those chances across the board. So randomly put everyone back in line. When I'm in the community, my students run up to me and give me big hugs and they tell me what's going on in their lives. That is the, the biggest thing that's keeping me in teaching, just seeing my students go out into the world and become bigger and better people than I ever could imagine. Jenny, what is, what's your area model saying? Three-fourths? 